again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 28th of January, 2019. Watched a rather interesting and most informative video. It was published on December the 7th, 2018. The Tom Hartman program, and his guest is Lamar Walton. When I got it, it had 110,910 views. It should have a whole lot more. You're going to learn a great deal about George Herbert Walker Bush. And I agree with pretty much everything that Lamar Walden highlights, but I don't disagree when he said that he does not believe that George Herbert Walker Bush was involved in the assassination of JFK. I think he absolutely was. You're going to learn that George Herbert Walker Bush, after he left the CIA, he went into private business. You know who his business partner was? Hmm? Bin Laden. And you're going to learn that on the day of 9-11, George Herbert Walker Bush was dining with the brother of Bin Laden. You can't make this stuff up. I don't believe that Bin Laden had anything to do with the towers coming down. That was just a patsy. No different than the other patsies that the CIA is able to find, groom, and have them execute whatever program they want executed or whichever individuals they want executed. They failed when they tried to whack Reagan with Hinckley. And when that happened, apparently in the morning, Herbert Walker Bush was having breakfast with the father of Hinckley. I had done videos and I had said that that was an absolute setup. If Reagan would have been whacked, George W. Bush would have been president sooner than he became president. You're going to learn about his father, Prescott Bush II, who financed the Nazi war machine. And a lot of the Bush money came from the Nazis. Again, you can't make this stuff up. The video is just shy of 42 minutes. I think you're going to find it to be most interesting. And you want to pass this one along to your like-minded friends. You want to repost it in all your social media accounts. There's no question that the Bush dynasty are a criminal organization. I've made countless videos stating exactly that. They all need to be held accountable. But they probably won't. None of the big fish have been placed into the frying pan. Don't you find that a little strange? Especially when President Trump, his whole campaign was, Hillary, you need to go to jail. I'm going to drain the swamp. Well, he has, in an essence, drained the swamp by bringing him into his own administration. William Barr is the most recent swamp critter that he's bringing into his own administration. John Bolton, another swamp critter that he brought into his own administration. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Remember when President Trump told us we'd learn everything about the JFK assassination? And then when push came to shove, well, we didn't learn everything about the JFK assassination. You know why? Well, there's too many people that are still alive that were involved in that. That's why we have a right to know who killed our president don't we? You remember when President Trump said he's going to sign the Reciprocity Act? 
so those of us that have a concealed carry permit can carry anywhere, which is what it should be. It's no different than your driver's license is good everywhere. My pilot's license is good all over the world. But my concealed carry permit isn't. He said he'd do that. Has he done that? Huh? How many times has he said, believe me, believe me, believe me? How many times has he said that? Believe me, believe me, believe me. Well, Donald, we can't believe you because you've not done what you said you would do countless times. Again, I transgress. This was about Herbert Walker Bush. Watch the clip. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Repost it in all your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.